And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Oh, Hasbro, Hasbro! Will you return to the glory years? Okay, I don't even know what the glory years are. 2000? Anyway, Hasbro puts out some, some nice games every once in a while. Games that I think are fantastic. Uh, HeroScape is one of my favorite games. So, I cannot down a company for everything that they do. But, this particular game, Ratuki, is a game that is essentially trying to copy the success of other games like Dutch Blitz or speedy games where you're putting down cards as fast as you can. They try to add a twist to it, which works! They try to add another twist to it. Woo! This game is nigh unplayable, actually, because of what they put into it. You almost have to kickstart the game to get working. It's like a card that's stalled, and you come over and you kick it a bit, and finally it moves again. You know, that's all well and good if every time you kick it, the car works, but you're not really going to want to drive in that car all the time. Same thing here. I'm not sure that this is a game you're going to want to play all the time either. Ugh, well, okay. I'm not trying to give the review before we look at the game, so let's look at it. So there's five decks of cards in the game. Each player gets their own deck, and they're going to be shuffling their own deck and then drawing um, some cards into their hand. Now the cards in this deck are made up of numbers from one to five. These numbers are either Arabic numerals like that or stick figures like this, and there's even some, uh, this is Ratuki, that's a wild, can be any number. Some of the numbers are written down. Uh, here's the number of fingers on a hand. Uh, there's numbers on a die. Uh, so you have to be, you, have to, you can't just, you know, you have to be able to gauge it that's two. But that's not too much of a problem, but I thought that was a neat idea. A nice idea. And what you're trying to do is when someone says go, you have your hand of cards, and as soon as you go, you can place cards in the middle of the table on top of any stack. Now, a stack always has to start with a one, but as soon as you see a one, you can place a two, and then maybe a three, and then if on top of a three, you can put a four, or you can go back down to two, as long as it's one less or one more. But as soon as someone plays a five on top of a stack, or a ratuki, let's say, this one, three, four, five. They claim the stack, the person who plays a five, and put that in their score pile. You're also allowed to, if you have a bunch of cards and you can't play any of them, you can take a card and put it in your junk pile. Now, once one person runs through their deck, they shot Ratuki, the game's over, or the round's over. All the cards that are left in your draw pile and any card you put here in your junk pile are subtracted from your score, while each one of these cards in your score pile is added to your score. The first person to get 100 points or more is the winner. That's basically it. Everyone plays simultaneously, and that's how the game works. Now, I've already said basically that this is a pretty dreadful game. In a sense, there's just some flaws in it. The only way to capture stack is to put down a 5. Okay, so you put Aura Ratuki. Okay, now the problem with that is, is no one wants to put down a 4. Because very most people are going to be sitting there hanging on to a 5, watching for a 4. So if you play a 4, most people are not fast enough to get a 4 out, back in, and then get a 5. As soon as someone sees that 4 out, every other player is throwing a 5 down. And that happens every single time. Now they say, well, the strategy of the game is when you have a 4, you can go back down to a 3 and you know make the pile fatter. Yeah, whatever. And then the scores are so lopsided. And so people just sit there and end up looking at each other, especially when no one has cards that can be played, which happens... And everyone sits in their hand, finally some people start discarding stuff in their junk pile, knowing they're losing points, but that the game might continue. I don't know. I know that some people are going to read this and be like, watch this video and say, ah, oh, you know, come on, we had so much fun playing this. Well, good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed the game, but I did not enjoy it remotely. It, it, it seemed like it would be a fun, silly game, but it's trying to play off the success of games like Dutch Blitz or other speed games, and they are much superior to this because they don't depend on kind of contrived things like this one does. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. 